everyone, it's Ann. Today we're going to take a look at a brand newly released tarot deck, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tarot. It is in a two-part hard case box. And I had pre-ordered this back in December 2022, three months ago. And it was just released today. It's published by Insight Editions. And uh, it does come with a thumb hole uh, cut out, two part box. And I started to say it is still 30% off on Amazon, 30% off the list price. Uh, usually the pre order price is a little less. So uh, if you guys like this deck and if you hurry up, uh, I will put the link in the description underneath the video. Uh, as of this recording, I just checked before I started recording, it is still 30% off the uh, list price because it was just released uh, today, I believe, or it's due to be released tomorrow, but since I pre-ordered it, I got it today, so I just got this today, literally just delivered like about an hour, an hour and a half ago. All right, so if you guys hurry, if you like it, you can uh, get 30% off the list price, uh, which is the pre-order price. So it's not gilded, as you can see. Here are the backs, and it looks like it is reversible. Uh, it looks like standard. Oh, one second here. Standard, um, yeah, standard plaid back tarot deck, card, card size. And cardstock is very thin, you guys. It's papery, paper. You can, it's like paper, and it doesn't feel like there's any core inside. So it's a little disappointing for that price point. Uh, it's 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 the kind of paper thin where you feel like you can just rip it and if it gets if you're shuffling and it gets caught it'll bend um but if you're i'm not that rough on my card if you're not that rough you should be okay but uh if you don't like thin paper stock and it turns you off you might want to skip this one unless you really love the uh buffy the vampire or you really resonate with this deck i love it i like the purple and I've only seen a few uh, cards because they didn't have much on the pre-order. So let's go ahead and take a look. We have the full, so thin purple border, and then the keyword. There's no number up top, it doesn't look like. The magician, so they start, uh, they do have the number here starting with the ma magician. The High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant. And I never watch Buffy. I, I believe it's a TV series It's or a book or story. Uh, I don't know the story. So if you have watched it or are familiar with it, this you may resonate with this even more. The Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, seems more modern of a deck. The Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. So that completes the major arcana. Moving on to the minor arcana, they do change the uh, rods or the wands to stakes. Uh, they renamed it to stakes, so we have ace of stakes. Two, three. Four of stakes. That's an interesting four of stakes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Page, Queen, Knight, Knight, Queen, and King. Next is the suit of cups, or they renamed it to chalices in, in this deck. So we have the ace, two, three, four, eight. That's interesting, eight of cups. They're fighting and this, there's this person here. So this doesn't 100% uh, follow the right of weight system. Nine, 10, page, knight, queen, and king. Next is the suit of Siths. And it represents the traditional sword, is what it looks like, yeah. So the the suit of swords or Sith in this deck has more of the Rider weight system resemblance. That's pretty traditional. 10, page. Knight, Queen. Yeah, this deck is more modern with the computer here. Queen, Queen of Swords and King of Swords or Siths. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, final suit is Pentacles, so it's still Pentacles. So we have the Ace, and two, three, four. So this is very interesting for pentacles. It says magic box. Definitely not traditional. Five, this is pretty traditional. Six, pretty traditional. Seven, eight, nine, ten. This is pretty traditional. Page, night. Queen and King. All right, so here are the backs one more time. And let's take a look at the guidebook. Lavender looking guidebook, pretty large. Larger size than the traditional little white book. So the contents. Meeting your chosen one. Major Arcana, the 411, <laughs> Minor Arcana, the Deets, the Suits, Stakes, Infused with the Element of Fire, yeah, so that was one. Wands, ch Chalice is Cup Water, Sis, both Staff and Sever. Yep, so that is the traditional sword and then the pentacles. Yeah, it was pretty common sense based on uh, the pictures. Major Kana. So you get the keyword, title, uh, a paragraph, upright meanings and reverse meaning. You get a full color page of the card. That's really nice. So let's see the minor. This oh, so the minors you don't get a full page. So the major you get full color page of each card, like a one liner or paragraph upright reverse meaning, and then the minors you get colorful picture of the cards, just not as large, and no write up, just upright and reverse meaning. Still nice. And then they have tarot readings in the back, preparing to read your tarot. 
the spreads. Nice to meet you. Prophecy girl. A world without shrimp. That's interesting. Five by five. About the author. Oh, is this by Casey uh, Jilly? I didn't mention that at the beginning. Casey Jilly and the illustrators, Carl's James Mountford. And so there are a total of 127 pages. And that completes the uh, guidebook. All right. So I don't think it's a deck for everyone, but. Uh, if you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, looking for a new deck, just release, uh, and it's still 30% off. So if you want it, jump on it. I will put the link in the description, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you again on the next video. Bye.